Okay, so that's uh, 1 p.m. PST, uh, and we are here becoming Zoom zombies by this time, but we are not done yet because now is the moment to announce our uh, awards, and we'd like to introduce our uh, awards committee, uh, Tucker Hammonds, Alexandra Faust, and Rudolf Tribo. Thank you so much for uh, doing this for us, going through the, uh, the best papers we had this year and make this, uh, making the selection. Uh, with that, I'll hand it over to Alexandra to announce the finalists and the winners. Thank you, Fabio. It's really great conference and amazing three days, amazingly organized. So it's my great pleasure to present the, to talk about the awards. We have awards in three categories, best presentation, uh, best systems paper, and overall best conference paper. So for the best presentation, the papers that were uh, under consideration were all oral uh, papers. And we had four, uh, I'm sorry, three uh, panelists. These are the universal embeddings for spatial temporal tagging uh, by so uh, Sean Segal and collaborators, transporter networks uh, by Andy Zhang and the collaborators. And a third finalist is the accelerating reinforcement learning with learned skill priors, Carl Persch uh, and the collaborators. And the winner of the uh, best paper presentation is Accelerating reinforcement learning with learned skill uh, priors. And the reason is, is a great visualizations with the examples to provide intuition and motivate the problem and propose the solution. So congratulations. <laughs> this is where we have the. So the next category is the best systems paper. And we had two finalists here. Uh, it's the SMARTS, an open source scalable multi-agent uh, uh, RL training school for the autonomous driving by Ming Zhu and the collaborators. And the second finalist was Dural Domain Invariant Robot Learning for Sim to Real Transfer by uh, AJ Tadmani. And the winner for the uh, best system paper is SMARTS, uh, open source scalable multi-agent we thought it was a <clears> thorough <throat> and well thought out system with a strong potential to really make a difference in the autonomous driving community. And finally, we have the uh, finalists for the best overall paper. Uh, we had actually four finalists for uh, this category. There were uh, learning latent representations to influence multi-agent interactions by NEG and the collaborators guaranteeing safety of learned perception modules where measurement-based control barrier functions, the Sarah Dean and the collaborators, uh, and learning, form, uh, learning from suboptimal demonstrations where self-supervised learning by Elite Yan Chan and the collaborators. And finally, the fourth finalist was safe optimal control using stochastic barrier functions uh, by Marcos Piera and the collaborators. And the drum roll, <laughs> the best paper for Coral is learning latent representations to influence multi-agent interactions. And it is a really compelling solution to a different problem demonstrated on several different domains uh, in a competitive physical world environment. And congratulations. Thank you so much, Alexandra. And the comedy. Uh, and now uh, I'd like to quick introduce Raya, uh, uh, Raya Hadzo, who is, uh, who is giving us some news about Coral 2021. You want to share Raya? Thank you very much, Fabio. Uh, let me grab the screen. Um, And the right tab. Present. All right. Does that look all right? Um, thank you uh, very much, uh, Fabio, and all the organizers and everybody who put this together this year. It was really exciting to see it come together. Um, I have uh, enjoyed it all 
very much for three days. It's been, it's been short, but sweet. Um, but let's look forward to hopefully, fingers crossed everybody, uh, Coral 2021 um, will be in London uh, on November 8th next year. And uh, I'll be the general chair, uh, Alexandra Faust, uh, who's right here, and Gerhard Neumann and David Shu uh, will be the program chairs. Um, let's see here, I should say that I'm from DeepMind. Uh, Sandra Faust is uh, from Google, Robotics at Google. Um, Gerhard Neumann is from KIT in Germany, and David Shu is uh, at NUS in Singapore. So we've got program chairs that uh, span, the, span the globe. Um, and the venue that we've found is called Friends House. It's a beautiful old Georgian building in the heart of North London, um, which is very close to the British Museum, University College of London, uh, St. Pancras, Pancras International and in Regent's Park. Lovely area, very lively, lots to do there. Um, they have a, a very cool uh, architectural auditorium with a big uh, vaulted dome with a big skylight at the top. Can handle a thousand attendees, so lots of people can go if we want to, but we're planning for about 600. Um, and their breakout rooms, of course. Um, Euston Station, St. Pancras International Station, and King's Cross are all uh, within about a seven minute walk from Friends House. Um, of course, there's the London Underground and double decker buses uh, as per London. And London has great international airports and direct flights, um, even to Australia now. Um, and of course, we are close to lots of great universities, including UCL, uh, Imperial, Queen Mary, uh, and DeepMind happens to be nearby as well. Um, all right, so that's all I had to say. We can all look forward to that. I really hope that uh, we can um, you know, move forward from the pandemic and by this time next year be able to see each other um, and, and be together in London. Thanks. Thank you, Raya. And uh, just before we are done, Jens, you want to say something? Yeah, so uh, we still have a couple of minutes and we thought it might be nice to at least get all the uh, winners of the various best paper prices up on the stage so we can take a virtual group picture. So if you could raise your virtual hand then we can easily find you and promote you to panelist. Jens, you'll let us know when the picture's taken. Okay, great. Um, Fabio, Jens, Claire, any last words? No? Okay, then I guess it's going to fall to me as a general chair to just close out the conference. It's been a uh, terrific um, uh, three days. I really... I had my concerns about how easy it would be to carry out this uh, conference um, remotely, but the participation has just been uh, tremendous. The talks have been so good. Uh, the keynotes, tutorials, oral presentations, the parallel sessions. Um, and so I just really wanna say thank you for really engaging with this and really making uh, Coral run so well uh, for um, fourth year in a row. For a young conference, it's not easy, but it just shows what enthusiasm there is uh, for this topic. And
And so uh, with that, I, I will say thank you just very much for coming. I'll see everybody in London, fingers crossed. And the very last thing that I want to say is that uh, we had a tremendously uh, successful social event at the end of yesterday to the extent that we're actually going to uh, keep the social event running in Gathertown again. Um, Valentine, uh, I think you're going to post in the uh, chat the uh, location. Oh, yes, there it is. Uh, if you want to join everybody, we can uh, gather in Gathertown for a, a social. You know, I would love to buy everybody a drink. Hard to do remote. Remotely. Um, but uh, if you have local supplies, pl please, please bring them along. And uh, yes, with this, uh, we conclude Coral 2020. And like I say, see everybody in London. Thank you.